in achieving the goal of health system development, there is a need for health workforce, which is an essential resource for the movement of the health system. For Thailand, the current political and socio-economic changes have certainly affected the health workforce in terms of inadequacy, urban-rural imbalanced distribution, and ineffective support and motivation systems. To effectively resolve the problem of health workforce efficiency, the cooperation of all sectors concerned is required. Promotion of Thai traditional medicine and Thai wisdom. A case of Utong Hospital, Supanburi Province. In the globalization era, people are close to each other through the use of modern communication technology. For Thailand, the means of health promotion and care are numerous. Using different disciplines of sciences, such as traditional wisdom according to the Thai traditional medicine and alternative medicine principles, which are as effective as those of Western medicine. The expansion of workforce and development of the knowledge of Thai traditional medicine are the challenges in the Thai health system. That is also true for Utong Hospital, the only government hospital in Utong District, Supanburi Province, which has offered another option of traditional medical treatment along with modern medical services. Dr. Apisak Leung Wechakan director Utong Hospital said that Utong Hospital is one of the hospitals that firstly joined in the effort to revive Thai traditional medicine wisdom according to the policy of the Ministry of Public Health. One day it was found by a Buddhist monk of Wat Kamprapmong in Sakonakon province who had studied and practiced that the principles of Buddhism and Thai traditional medicine can be effectively integrated and used for medical care purposes. For several years, Thai traditional medicine services have been offered for the patients to choose. The services normally begin with physical examination and diagnosis by a physician who will access the ailment condition. If the patient is found to have a chronic disease or an illness that can be treated with herbal medicines or Thai traditional medicine procedures, the physician will offer such services for the patient to make his or her own decision. So now healthcare facilities, modern healthcare facilities in Thailand also provide traditional medicine, uh, traditional massage for treatment. If you go to a rural hospital, you, you can see that. I understand that you go to Utong Hospital. That is one of the typical uh, healthcare facilities that employ traditional and alternative medicine to provide service to the people. Many of them can be reimbursed from the national health insurance and you can see the difference between modern medicine and traditional medicine. The traditional me medicine will have more human face. The modern medicine will be more in terms of technology oriented, while the traditional medicine will be more human oriented. Today, the patient with liver cancer who has decided to be treated with Thai traditional medicine together with Buddhist meditation comes to the hospital for follow-up treatment on the appointment date. After physical examination, the patient will get some more herbal medicines 
for further treatment. Auntie Kam Hong, cancer patient, said that I believe that treatment with Thai traditional medicine would help me get better because the doctor might have got a good intention for the patient to be cured. So, with the doctor's good advice and care, I am confident in this treatment approach. Meditation calms me down and is a way to help me. Director U Tong Hospital said that the patients have the right to choose the treatment methods for themselves. Some cancer patients do not respond to chemotherapy. If they do not want surgery or radiation, they can choose herbal medicine as well as other Thai traditional medicine procedures, together with nutrition therapy and medication, which are physical and mental care approaches for patients in line with Buddhist practices. At present, the concept and guidelines for the use of Thai wisdom have been made much clearer. Thai traditional medicine clinics have been established at several hospitals in response to the increasing numbers of patients interested in the treatments with regular and applied Thai traditional medicine approaches. Here is the drug production unit of Utong Hospital's pharmacy section, which produces both kinds of Western and traditional drugs for use in the hospital. And it is also responsible for training and research on Thai traditional medicine. Raw materials and drug formulas according to Thai traditional wisdom from within and outside the districts are brought in for testing and produced at this place. And then they will be offered for selection as an option of any interested persons to use on a trial basis under the supervision of an expert. That Li Cha Chang Silipon, pharmacist and head Thai traditional medicine section, U Tong Hospital said that this hospital promotes the development of knowledge so that it is up to date together with capacity building on Thai traditional medicine. After the work has been expanded with more patients, more personnel were required. With the support from the administrators, the personnel shortage problem has been eased. Now there are seven Thai traditional medicine practitioners and they can provide services to patients every day. Basically, they are responsible for curative care as well as technical and research work. Supanburi province is located not so far away west of Bangkok, the capital city of Thailand. Agriculture is the main occupation of local residents in the province including Utong district. Today, the work on Thai traditional medicine is not confined only to hospitals. Farmers are regarded as key partners who have made the science of Thai traditional medicine return once again as the way of life of Thai people after it was neglected according to the trend of Western development. Today is the visit of pharmacist from Utong Hospital to Auntie Saniad, one of the farmers who plants herbs for the hospital. In addition to the visit, an inspection will also be made on the planting plots and the herb quality. 
the planting of herbs has to be free from agricultural chemicals, which is considered as an educational effort as well as income generating activity for villagers. This place is also a field visit and learning site on Thai traditional medicine for students during their practice period. Belisha Chang Silipon, pharmacist and head Thai traditional medicine section, Utong Hospital, said that previously we grew our own medicinal herbs as raw materials, but later, with the increased needs as well as inadequate land and staff, we encouraged local farmers to grow herbs for the hospital. Now there are 100 herb growers or members but only 30 are major ones. We give them the knowledge about proper planning and harvesting, so the raw materials are of high quality with highest medicinal potency. The collection of knowledge about Thai traditional medicine in localities is one of the top priorities of the hospital. Today, a group of Thai traditional medicine lecturers and students have an opportunity to take a field trip to study and share the knowledge at the house of Uncle Bun Song, a local sage or expert on medicinal herbs, who has been collecting the wisdom or knowledge about Thai traditional medicine so that it will not be lost, and for people of the next generation to learn, including herb planting as well as drug formulation. As the concept has been translated into clearer practice guidelines, the work on Thai traditional medicine, including local wisdom, has expanded its context of health workforce in the dimension of health professionals to health care partners in the popular sector. Many farmers have been interested in planting more medicinal herbs, and the herb gardens have been transformed into learning centers or field study sites. At the same time, U Tong Hospital is an example of health development in Thailand that can reflect the intention to develop and push for the adoption of Thai traditional medicine and local wisdom for use in the resolution of people's health problems on a sustainable basis.